Welcome everyone. Today we're diving deep into a topic that touches the heart of our personal lives. How to maintain your integrity and well-being in relationships, especially from a Stoic perspective. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy, teaches us the importance of focusing on what's within our control, acting according to virtue, and maintaining an inner citadel of peace, regardless of external circumstances. These principles can guide us in navigating personal relationships, ensuring we remain true to ourselves and our values. Let's explore six crucial things a man should not do when interacting with women, or indeed anyone, ensuring we nurture healthy, respectful, and meaningful connections. Before we delve into these timeless teachings, I would greatly appreciate it if you liked the video, enabling me to continue spreading the Stoic philosophy. If you're not subscribed, I recommend you subscribe and activate the bell so you don't miss any video. 1. Don't change your life. Just to match someone else's. Let not your mind be forced, but be prepared to shift to whatever tasks you're given. Marcus Aurelius advises, highlighting the stoic virtue of adaptability without losing one's essence. This is particularly relevant in relationships where the temptation to morph our lives to fit the mold of a partner's expectations can be strong. Stoicism doesn't advocate for a rigid life path, but encourages us to remain true to our core values and virtues. Seneca once wrote, To thine own self be true, and it must follow, as the night the day, thou canst not then be false to any man. This reinforces the Stoic belief in the importance of authenticity and living a life that's true to oneself, not one that merely seeks to please or align with others. Here are some practical applications to ensure decisions are aligned with your true self. 1. Regular self-reflection. Dedicate time each week to reflect on your actions, decisions, and how they align with your values. Journaling can be a helpful tool in this process. 2. Open dialogue with your partner. Have honest conversations about your goals, fears, and boundaries. True companionship allows both partners to thrive individually and together. 3. Seek external perspectives. Sometimes talking to friends, family, or a mentor can provide valuable outside perspectives on whether your actions reflect your true self or if you're being swayed by external pressures. 2. Don't be too obsessed by someone and ruin your life. Balance is better than excess might well have been a guiding principle for Stoics like Seneca, who warned against allowing any single aspect of life, including relationships, to consume us. He stated, obsession is the death of reason, underscoring the Stoic belief that losing oneself in another person not only undermines our rationality, but also our happiness and virtue. Epictetus offered a caution relevant to this discussion. Don't let the force of an impression when it first hits you knock you off your feet. Just say to it, hold on a moment. Let me see who you are and what you represent. Let me put you to the test. This quote encourages a stoic response to the intoxicating rush of new love. Approach it with mindfulness and rational examination. In practical terms, avoiding obsession requires a commitment to self-awareness and the cultivation of a well-rounded life. Here are steps to achieve this balance. 1. Mindfulness practice. Begin and end your day with a stoic reflection, asking yourself if your actions are aligned with your virtues and personal goals, or if they're being unduly influenced by your relationship. 2. Diversify your interests. Ensure you're dedicating time to your interests and passions outside the relationship. Whether it's a hobby, career ambition, or personal project, these activities can provide fulfillment and a sense of individual purpose. 3. Social engagement. Make a conscious effort to maintain and nurture friendships and family relationships. Regular social interactions can offer perspective, support, and a reminder of your identity beyond the romantic relationship. 4. Rational evaluation. When you notice feelings of obsession creeping in, take a step back. Use the stoic practice of objective judgment to assess your emotions and actions. Are they serving your well-being and growth, or are they signs of losing yourself in another? Three. Don't let people harm your mental health and happiness. Bictetus' assertion, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters, is pivotal in understanding the stoic approach to mental health. This philosophy encourages us to maintain sovereignty over our inner state, regardless of external influences. Marcus Aurelius offered wisdom that complements this idea. You have power over your mind, 
not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Here are some practical application. 1. Boundary setting. Identify behaviors that you find detrimental to your well-being. Communicate these boundaries clearly and respectfully to others. 2. Stoic reflection. End each day with a reflection on instances where your mental health was challenged. Assess your reactions and consider how you might respond more in line with stoic principles in the future. 3. Support systems. Cultivate a circle of friends and family whose presence strengthens your mental fortitude. Share your stoic practices with them for mutual growth. Or don't leave your family and friends for someone else. The stoic value of community is highlighted by Marcus Aurelius's reflection on mutual support. Humans were born for cooperation. This underscores the importance of not forsaking long-standing relationships for the sake of a new or intense romantic engagement. Seneca elegantly stated, One of the most beautiful qualities of true friendship is to understand and to be understood. This speaks to the depth and necessity of maintaining these bonds. Here are some practical ideas. Balance time management. Actively schedule time with both your partner and your loved ones to ensure no relationship is neglected. Integration efforts. Look for opportunities to bring your partner into your wider circle, facilitating connections that enrich your social fabric. Don't share all your past, especially hardest times. Marcus Aurelius's advice on discretion and sharing personal matters guides us to protect our inner peace. Be silent for the most part. Say only what is necessary and in a few words. This caution extends to sharing personal vulnerabilities. Epictetus remarked, We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This emphasizes the value of listening and observing before sharing deeply personal experiences. Here are some practical application. 1. Incremental trust building. Share aspects of your past gradually as trust deepens, ensuring the relationship provides a safe space for vulnerability. 2. Self-protection strategy. Before sharing, ask yourself if disclosing this information enhances mutual understanding or potentially exposes you to unnecessary harm. 3. Stoic journaling. Use journaling to process your past and understand it from a stoic perspective before deciding to share with others. 6. Don't agree just to make them happy. Marcus Aurelius reminds us of the importance of integrity in every action. If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. This principle is crucial when considering compromising our own joy for the sake of another's happiness. Epictetus provides a pertinent reminder. Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. Here are some practical steps. 1. Honest communication. Engage in open and honest discussions about your likes, dislikes, and boundaries. Emphasize the importance of mutual enjoyment and respect. 2. Compromise with integrity. Seek activities and compromises that align with both your and your partner's genuine interests, ensuring that any adjustments made do not compromise your own values or well-being. 3. Self-awareness exercises. Regularly assess if compromises in the relationship are becoming one-sided. Use stoic meditation to reflect on your feelings and whether your actions are true to your authentic self. In navigating relationships, stoicism offers timeless wisdom that emphasizes the importance of maintaining your integrity, well-being, and rational judgment. By applying these stoic principles, we can foster healthier, more balanced relationships that honor both our own and others' dignity and worth. Remember, the goal is not to withdraw from relationships, but to engage with them in a manner that is true to our values, respectful of our well-being, and conducive to mutual growth and understanding. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of Stoicism and relationships. Let's strive to apply these insights in our lives, cultivating connections that are both meaningful and virtuous. If you found value in these teachings, I encourage you to like the video. Share it and subscribe for more insightful content. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the profound and practical teachings of Stoicism. Until next time, may these teachings enrich your life and empower you on your personal journey.